Hi guys, welcome back to the follow-on tutorial from the previous um, introduction to Mapbox, where we learned how we could filter out our data. Um, so just in case you did forget, at the moment I am only showing um, food places, fast food places. But what I want to do is I want to just show you uh, a refresher of how you can show other places if you want. And so you go to here and you go to select data in your layer of your point of interest and you go to filter and this is where we can filter it to be displayed as whatever we want. So if I click education, we find that all education is going to show up and we just need to make sure that we get rid of that. But for today's tutorial, let's keep it with food and drink. Okay, and so now when we get out of this, we can see that's just food and drink places coming up. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go back into this layer and we want to go to icon. And here is where you can start customizing your icons. So at the moment I've got it set as a burger, but I want to create my own icon. And to do that, I'm eventually going to get to the point where I click on add or remove images or icons. And I'm going to show you how you can add this burger icon. And so the first thing you're going to do is uh, just search in for a burger icon in, or an icon that you want, obviously. <laughs> And save it as uh, preferably one without. Go, and we can just save that. Now, what's happened is we've created a PNG image, and so what happens? I just want to show you. If we go to add or remove images and we go to upload. When we try to drag and drop our burger, we're unable to do so. And that's because our file has not been saved as an SVG file and that's the only sort of file that's supported uh, when you're doing this. So let's go to PNG to SVG converter and you can just use an online converter tool to do that. <clears throat> so let's just drag and drop a file. In this case we've got our little burger and we'll just wait for that to convert. Okay, and now we can see I've saved this burger icon here as an SVG. So we can get out of that. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to load this into here. So first of all, now I've already actually gone ahead and done this uh, earlier as I was showing you, so let's just delete this for now. Yes. We're going to re-upload the burger and so we're going to upload image and we're going to dump in the SVG file, confirm and now we're going to wait for that to upload and here we can see we have our little burger. And so now when we click on this we can see that they have now been associated to there. We then also have the ability if we want to start to play around with this, edit how our icons being shown. Um,
button, fit icon to text. And we might make it a bit smaller. And now we can scale that there. Done. And there you have it. Now we have some big burgers popping up all over our map. And that's how you can import and create customized um, maps 